tomorrow you'll be you'll be you'll all be going out to talk to people in town. Okay. So I want to kind of do something cool for myself here. I want to try Can we go outside? Ah shit. I want to go and try to do this without knowing the immediate answer. And I kind of want to talk about it a little bit because this is something I do find as a huge flaw in, in, in an otherwise amazing game. I guess the best way to put it is if you've ever played the Mass Effect trilogy, right? I think it's Mass Effect 2, right? Where the entire game is getting a party together almost. And it almost has nothing to do with the original plan. And I kind of hate that thing. Like that storytelling method. And this is very similar to that because pretty much start, find, start, find out about something that is going to happen, then basically gather a party for something unrelated, and then yeah. So, now we have to talk to pretty much everybody about those murders. That incident last spring, I still wonder what happened. It was a pretty big deal, wasn't it? I'd almost completely forgotten about that. Wow, I'm just getting old, huh? Okay, so I think that that's all that she's got to say. There are a couple of people specifically that you're supposed to talk to, but... Really? Why are you guys all lumped up together? God. Hey, listen to this. Rizak came and spoke to me. About those murders. Didn't they capture a suspect and put a lid on that case? Are you done asking questions? Good, now go away. I'm very busy talking to Reset right now. I hate you. Yeah, while we're supposed to be doing stuff, important stuff, let's go ahead and feed a dog. Because that seems like a great idea, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to these people. A little while ago, they said that the suspect had been caught. It was Namatame-san. Yeah, so she was the important one. Here, I'm gonna go ahead. Recall anyone suspicious. Have I seen any other weird people aside from Namatame-san, huh? Uh, nope, I don't think so. Okay, so now let's go back to Shopping District South and see if we can ask that original per couple people about specifically anybody suspicious. Okay. What is it? Recall anyone suspicious? A strange person. Nah, I don't think I've seen any. I mean, this is a pretty small town, wouldn't you say? If I had, I'm pretty sure I'd remember. What are you talking about? Did all that happen just last spring? Wow, it seems so long ago. Who's going to remember something from that far back anyway? And I'll try her. Not from this town anyway. Let's see if anyone's at Juness. Because there might be someone right in that little area right there. Okay. So... Let's talk to you. Recall anyone suspicious. A suspicious person. Ah, now that you mention it, my friend was saying he saw someone. I think she's just wandering around the shopping district, so why don't you ask her? Okay, so now we're going to have to go back and talk to her. Is it the same exact person, or am I... Call anyone suspicious. Someone told you that I saw a suspicious person. Oh, oh, that. You remember Saki Konishi, don't you? You know, she passed away a while ago. She told me how that Namatame person came to her one day and started spouting all this craziness. Something about the TV. I wonder what that was all about. His relation to Saki. Hey, I don't know what you're implying, but you've got it all wrong. Saki was a good girl. It was just that people misunderstood her. 
It seems the thing about Namite making advances on Saki was a misunderstanding. I forget what the trigger to stop it, but I think we pretty much need to talk about everybody. Or talk about... I think we need to talk to pretty much everybody for it to end. I, I need to also probably go back up to the shopping district and talk to those people in the north. The north section of the shopping district. Because I'm just trying to... I'm trying to see... Because my whole thing is that my first time through, I didn't think that there was enough evidence really to suspect the real culprit if you've never played this game then and you don't know who it is i'm not going to talk about it until we actually find out but i'm trying to f figure it out for myself i know it's pretty shocking but what I, what can i say a lot of times pass okay so he doesn't really seem to have anything important to say we've had a lot of people come to our store but i can't say anyone was particularly suspicious oh god you know being from new york and talking really fast is a pretty beneficial thing sometimes about those murders. Now that you mentioned it, the town was all a buzz last spring. Do you remember that, don't you? Okay. I, I don't know. Out in the country, if there was anyone strange walking around, everyone would know about it real quick. So, it has to be somebody from here. Oh, great. So now I can, I can finish that quest, huh? Ah, poopy. But okay. Actually... Would everybody kill me if I did that really quickly? So, all that we're getting, right, is that nothing is suspicious, right? That's the, the common thread that we have here. Which one is the girl? Oh, uh, she's over here, isn't she? Oh, okay. I thought she was... Oh, no, she's in the shopping district. Why did I think she was over here? Whoopsies. Or at least I thought she was. Maybe I'm just dumb. Just out of curiosity, I want to check really quickly. Find my pet. Girl in the shopping district south side. Yeah, so that's weird. Okay, yeah, so let's go ahead and talk to everybody again then. Let's talk to you. It's me. Do you recognize me? Why I'm outside? When I'm at home, I just see more news about the murders. I thought I'd stay out here and watch the sunset. Of course, I'm going to watch TV when I get home anyway. Even then, I can't see the sunset because of all this fog. I hate it. It's so depressing. Oh, come on. Don't make me even more depressed. They said on the news that the suspect had been caught. So this whole thing is over now, right? What else is there? It's a small town. If there was anyone suspicious, there would be rumors going around all over. But at least I haven't heard any news or rumors like that. So I'd say there's no such person. Okay, so he has nothing important to say then. A little while ago, they said the suspect had been caught. It was Namatami-san. I can't remember something from that long ago. By the way, no. Okay, whatever. There isn't anyone like that in this town. I even know you. You're that kid who's staying at Dojima Kun's house. <laughs> oh, it's funny that they call they called him Dojima Kun. That's pretty funny. Okay, so anyone suspicious? Hmm. No, I don't think I've seen any suspicious people except for you. Is interrupting my conversation with Rizet? Did I ask her? A suspicious person. No, not from this town anyway. 
Here, so I'm, what I'm going to do actually is... Because this is the save before the hospital. This is the save after the hospital. And I'm going to create a new save right here. Okay. Because we're about to reach another very important part. So I want to see what it said again. Because I'm kind of... It doesn't look like you'll find any more information on a suspicious person. So then where do I go? Okay, so maybe there isn't a trigger then. Maybe I'm just really dumb. Maybe I have to go back to Juness with everybody, do I? Or no, I don't think I talked to her. Okay, there we go. It's when you ask everybody those two questions. Chinese dinner, Aya. You met up with your friends after gathering information. <sighs> I'm seriously pooped. This stuff's a lot harder when you don't have a badge to flash. I walked around all day and didn't hear anything good. It was the same for me. There was absolutely no talk about the case whatsoever, let alone the true culprit. Ditto for me. Actually, in my case, I kept getting bombarded with questions and couldn't get them onto the main subject at all. <sighs> the killer must be pretty good to have pulled this off without being seen by anyone in this small town. That's it. Do? Well, one steak bowl, please. Wow. That's not what I meant. But then again, I guess we might as well take a break. I'll have a crab and egg fried rice. I'll have... Roast pork ramen with extra noodles. Oh, now that our tummies are full, let's share what we learned, even if it wasn't much. So, to sum up, there really was no new information. The end? The police had an unusually large number of officers in their initial investigation of the first two incidents. To find facts that even they overlooked would be difficult indeed, now that over half a year has passed. There wasn't a single report of suspicious persons being witnessed to begin with. Miss Yamano had ardent fans, whereas Saki-san didn't, but otherwise the conditions are the same. You know, every time I tried to ask about the case, everyone ignored me and kept ranting about the damn fog. Yeah, that or the Midnight Channel. I asked around about Teddy, too, but no one's seen him. Oh, uh, who cares about him? Gee, I wonder where he could have gone. Do you have anything, Naoto? Any new, uh, deductions? <sighs> Without any new data to work with, there isn't much I can do. But there must be someone in town who meets all the criteria for this case. The killer must have a connection to both Saki-san and Miss Yamano, as well as be in a position to observe our actions periodically to some extent. Yeah, so this is the game's attempt to justify the solution. Finally, it must be someone who could approach Senpai's house without arousing suspicion. I need some fresh air before I give it more thought. I'll be outside. So it's not somebody suspicious, and it has to be someone who could have observed us. That's all the information we really get. It's snowing. No wonder it's chilly. Ugh, it's freezing out here. Maybe this will help clear my head and get my deductive muscles flexing. Hey, is it snowing? Too bad the fog's so thick. The snow just gets lost in it. There must have be something that's been overlooked. It's urgent that you get over the roadblock facing you. The clues you need must be already in your hands. What's the matter? 
The culprit had some sort of connection with both Mayumi Yamano and Saki Konishi. And judging by the warning letters, the culprit most likely knows about the other side and what you did there. It's highly likely that they also knew what Namatame was doing and stood back to watch. Who would know all these things? Another oddity about the case is that there are almost no witnesses. Both warning letters seem to have been delivered directly to your house and no one saw anything suspicious. No one unusual was seen around Mayumi, um, Mayumi Yamano or Saki Konishi either. Despite the police dispatching an unusually high number of officers to perform a thorough investigation, there must be someone in this small town who fits all the facts. The person who seems the most like, likely culprit is. So, it's definitely not Yosuke, definitely not Chie, definitely not Yukiko. Teddy, I feel like, what Teddy disappearing is trying to cast some sort of suspicion on him. But realistically, there's no reason for him to do it. Kanji Rize Nauto? No. Okay, so it's definitely not Dojima, nor Nanako, nor Namatame. Obviously, those two died. Died. Obviously, a copycat. Of course, they put Kashiwagi and Hanako in here. Obviously, not one of our friends. So, is there any real reason to believe that it could be anyone else? And here's my problem with this. It seems as though they were really trying to throw you for a loop here. Like, they were really trying... But there, it doesn't really come together, right? The only person who the facts fit is Adachi. Or not, not really the facts, but the, the, the person that they're trying to point you towards. But not only are they not doing a very good job at pointing you towards him, but... Why in the world would he be so friendly then? And on top of that, the social link and everything like that, why would he... Like, it would make sense if, let's say you never really see a dachi and he doesn't come over to your house and doesn't do all of that stuff. Or maybe even that once he realizes what you are doing, he kind of like adapted a different attitude towards you but he's still friendly even though that he threatened your that he threatened Nanako's life basically so I personally don't think it makes sense at all really and even his own motivations are kind of weird of course if you look only at the circumstances you can't completely rule out that possibility Adachi may have been able to keep an eye on your actions he would have been able to approach your house with ease, and he knows the area well. Thinking about it, you encountered him many times while investigating the case. You learned much about the police's movements from Adachi as well, but there's no, exact, there's no exact reason to doubt him, but something is bothering you. However, this is new to Golden. Should you tell your friends about your suspicions about Adachi being the culprit? If you protect Adachi, you get... I think it's called the accomplice ending or something. And... Tell them. Huh? What about him? Detective Adachi. Hmm. A member of the police force. That is an interesting approach. It would certainly explain the lack of witness reports. It's the same reason no one ever reported seeing Namatame's truck. This is a small town, so everyone must have known who he is. <sighs> and since he's a detective, people definitely wouldn't have thought of him as being suspicious. In fact, he could use his position to his advantage and hide critical information. As well as he probably at some point had to interrogate both uh, Mayumi Yamano and Saki Konishi. That's the only thing that makes sense here. Really? Huh. Well, if you think of it that way, I guess it's possible. 
But we're talking about Adachi here, right? I mean, really? Adachi? He's your textbook lousy detective. Are we really on the right track here? Actually, regarding Detective Adachi, I'm not sure how to put it, but there's something that's been bothering me about him for some time now. Yeah? Hmm. Perhaps it's just my imagination, so I shouldn't speak too... It's cold. I think we've cooled down enough here. Let's go back in. Adachi-san? That can't be. I mean, he said he came to escort Ms. Yamano and... What? Was he at your inn when the announcer was staying there? When Miss Yamano was staying at our inn, the media were swarming all over it. That's when Adachi-san arrived, saying he'd been assigned to guard her. He told our waitress that fame could be rough. Guard her? He didn't spend the night there? Huh. I wonder if he knew Ms. Yamano. I don't know about that, but I heard he did call out to a girl in my class. I found out this afternoon, but I thought, you know, that's just how cops are. So I didn't think it had anything to do with the case. Detective Adachi also questioned Saki-san, the one who found the announcer's body, on numerous occasions. I heard it was because there was so little information about the case at the time, but it's certainly unusual to question someone with as strong an alibi as hers multiple times. Then you think he had something else on his mind? And that something is what connects those two victims to Adachi-san? Come to think of it, we've been running into that guy a lot, in all sorts of places. And every time he'd tell us what the police were doing before saying, Oops, I said too much and clamming up. Was that all to throw us off the trail? It would be no problem for him to drop that warning letter into your mailbox either. Not to mention the fact that he can destroy any evidence that might point to him. Various peculiar peculiarities have cast a suspicious shadow on Adachi. Then... is it really Adachi-san? Alright, actually, so I realized I kind of misspoke for a second. It's not necessarily that the evidence doesn't point to him, it's just that his attitude makes no sense. His attitude towards you. His attitude towards everything else. Does that make sense? Like, it's almost as if he's... Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Like, it just doesn't really... Like, his personality doesn't make sense to do it. It's not necessarily that the evidence doesn't point to him. It's that, yeah... We need to confirm this. This is still only a tentative theory. We should work to confirm it as soon as possible. This is Naoto Shiragane. Something has occurred to me about the case, and I'd like to get Detective Adachi's input on it. Huh? The transport? It's right now? Right, I, I see. Thank you. What was that about a transport? Detective Adachi is headed to the hospital to prepare for Namatame's relocation. We must head there at once. Oh, shit. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Damn. Squad, getting ready to go. Hey, do you know where Dojima-san went? They told me he snuck out of his room again. I assure you, we've made it clear to him several times that he needs to stay put, but he keeps going off on his own. Jeez, with Namatami finally relocated, I was looking forward to going home. So, he's been relocated. I've been wondering, 
You seem to be in a terrible hurry to get him out of this hospital. Huh? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, we can't leave him here with Dojima-san and Nanako-chan around. Didn't you guys think so, too? Hey, what are you doing here anyway? Nanako-chan's room is in the other wing. We've been looking for you, buddy, old pal. Don't you think you should leave before Dojima-san finds you? If he catches you, he'll start pestering you again. Adachi, where's Namatami? There's been a lot of noise today for some reason. Dojima-san, what are you doing here? Namatami's already been relocated. I was looking for you so I could tell you that. You did what? Who authorized that? There's still more I need to ask him about. G give me a break, Dojima-san. Those first two murders have been bothering me. His motives are shaky and his alibi is rock solid. We closed a lot of loopholes on the basis of his testimony. But that part's still nagging at me. Is this more of your detective's intuition? He's already been relocated. It's no use hassling me about it. And you kids should really get home too. You're gonna get in the way of police business. Since when have you cared about police business though? What's gotten into you today? It's odd to see you taking work so seriously. Come on! I'm always giving 110% when it comes to the job. Bull! You should get back to work too, Dojima-san. Your current assignment? Get better as soon as possible. <clears throat> I do think his voice actor did a really good job of... of seeming really nervous. What are you all doing here? <laughs> we came to confirm something with Adachi-san. You should question Adachi. About when Miss Yamano vanished. The time the announcer went missing? I can't say for sure offhand. It's not like I saw her or anything. That was months and months ago, too. My memory's kind of hazy that far back. Or wait, shit. The t Why wouldn't I question her? She discovered the announcer's body. But she didn't know much about it, so I only talked with her once or twice. Was that all you wanted to ask? Well, I hope it helped. About the warning letter. Warning letter? The one that was delivered to his house. It's in police custody now, correct? Uh, I don't really remember. Hey, what do you mean you don't remember? I gave it to you to take down to the crime lab for processing. You're telling me you forgot? <laughs> I'm sorry. Your accident was right after that, and what with one thing and another, it sort of slipped my mind. Uh, besides, that thing was just a prank, wasn't it? Jeez, what are you asking me all this for? For crying out loud, what's this all supposed to be about? Dojima-san, you really need to get back to your bed. That's why your wounds aren't healing. And you all need to go home right now. Do you have any idea what time it is? I'm going back. I need to get to the station and report in. Just one more thing, please. We know for certain now that the first two murders weren't Namatame's doing. Someone else killed them. Adachi-san, do you have any idea who that might be? I have no idea what you're talking about. Cause we think it might have been you. What? That's ridiculous! We already know Namatami's the one who put them all in! Oh! Wh what did you just say? Put them all in? What's this putting them in business? Do you know something about the method behind their murders? Don't tell me that all that talk about TVs and whatnot from before was... I see. Now I finally understand. To tell the truth, Adachi-san, I've been fixated on something you once said. Before, I didn't know why, only that it sounded a wrong note to me. <clears throat> Do you recall when I read Namatame's diary? At the scene of Dojima-san's accident. At the time, I said, even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. And in response, your words were, Wow. Then that settles it. How, I wonder? 
Would that settle anything? At the time, the police had no idea that there had been other attempted murders related to the case. You had no reason to say such a thing. After all, there are countless examples of people disappearing for a few days. Yet when I read the list of names, you raised no objection. Odd, that. What do you say to that, Detective Adachi? I don't know. I said I'm busy! Wait, you son of a bitch! Adachi! Ah! Oh, damn it! Adachi! Namatami's hospital room. Adachi isn't here either. What the? I swear he ran this way. Damn it! Where the hell did he go? In the TV. Did you find him? I contacted security. Nobody's seen Adachi, and there's no record of anyone leaving this area. So he must be still in this ward somewhere. He's still here? But we looked! We didn't find him anywhere! That bastard. <clears throat> Dojima-san? For heaven's sake, what are we going to do with you? Sorry. I got carried away. Do you even want to get better? If you keep this up, there could be lasting damages. Have you forgotten how much trouble it caused you last time? Y you're right. Sorry. You've got to find Adachi. I need to square this away with him. Please. Damn, we sure do a lot. Are we getting paid for this? He hasn't left this ward yet? I don't think he would. But could he have... Yeah, I think so. If he's the killer, he can go through, right? You mean he went in through here? We searched every inch in the direction he ran off. There's nowhere to hide. I don't think we could have missed him. He was cornered. It's highly probable that he escaped there. If he does indeed turn up on the other side, that should prove beyond a doubt that he is the true culprit. Damn. So I guess we were right. What do we do now? Let's go tomorrow. I think it's too dangerous to go in from here. We're not 100% positive he used this TV, and on top of that, we don't know where it might lead. Let's go in from Jeunesse, like always. It'll be fine. So long as we're ready for him, we'll crush that jerk in one strike. Yeah! The extremely suspicious detective, Adachi. You've taken another step towards the truth. I don't know, like, I know that the reason why they made his personality the way that it was is to not make it obvious and to have an, a twist and, like, twist, a story twist, and have the ending be different than what you suspect, but I don't know, it's never sit right with me. And I'm very glad that uh, Persona 5 looks to be starring a bunch of anti-heroes, for lack of a better word. Okay. Coolie, next time, going in after Adachi.